It's Wednesday morning, welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all, to you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 116 I love the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my supplication, because he inclined his ear to me on the day I called to him. The snares of death encompassed me, the pains of hell took hold of me, by grief and sorrow was I held. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beg you, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the simple. I was brought very low and he saved me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has been gracious to you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed that I should perish, for I was sorely troubled, and I said in my alarm, everyone is a liar. How shall I repay the Lord for all the benefits he has given to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfil my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. O Lord, I am your servant, your servant, the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer to you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfil my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Canticle The Lord has anointed me and sent me to bring good news to the oppressed. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour, to comfort all who mourn, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. For as the earth puts forth her blossom, and as seeds in the garden spring up, so shall the Lord God make righteousness and praise blossom before all the nations. You shall be called priests of the Lord. They shall speak of you as ministers of our God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord has anointed me and sent me to bring good news to the oppressed. We're reading from Luke's Gospel, chapter 6, beginning at verse 12. Now during those days, Jesus went out to the mountain to pray and he spent the night in prayer to God. And when day came, he called his disciples and chose 12 of them, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter and his brother Andrew and James and John and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas and James, son of Alphaeus and Simon, who was called the Zealot and Judas, son of James and Judas Iscariot who became a traitor. Here ends the reading. Mm. 
Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. The Benedictus. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, the fruit that shall last. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so let us pray. Almighty God, we pray today for the problems in our world. Father, we pray for peace between countries and nations. And we pray for peace in our own community. And we pray for peace and harmony within our families. Father God, we pray today for the social services in this country and we pray for those who need to access their help. We pray for all those who work in the criminal justice system, praying especially for our local prisons. And Father, we pray for the victims and the perpetrators of crime. And we pray for those whose homes are not a safe place to live, for those who are oppressed, for those who are abused. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us, and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.